Hello, my name is Wayne Perry, the TV carpenter. Thank you for watching the Daily DIY. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to reseal your bath. It's a really, really easy fix with a few top tips. I'm going to be really honest. I was rubbish at this until a couple of years ago. And then I worked with my business partner, Steph Brom, who is a plumber. And together, she showed me some tips. And the tips that I'd learned along the way, we combined them and created a fail-safe way of resealing your bath. And this is a demonstration that we do at the Idle Home Show and we teach when we do our private DIY courses. To practice and demonstrate on, I'm just using this piece of um, two pieces of MDF screwed together just to represent the bath edge um, you know between your bath and your tile area for example. First thing you need to do is you need to get rid of any old sealant so you can't seal over seal you need to get rid of that and to get rid of it use a blade score down the down the corner making sure you don't damage anything as much as possible and then you could probably pick at an edge and then just pull the whole thing away. Um, if you're left with anything Use one of these, it's a, a glass scraper. It's got a Stanley blade in there, but it's on its edge. So you, it's like a, a really sharp scraper. And you can scrape anything off without damaging the enamel of the bath or the enamel of the tile. So once you've got rid of everything, then give it a really good clean. Use, you know, any of your anti-scum bacterial, um, you know, bathroom cleaner, because you don't want any grease or anything in there. You want this silicone to stick to it as much as possible. Once you've got rid of everything and then it's all dry as well, so get some kitchen roll and wipe it all down and dry it. This is the bit that stops things from going wrong. I use masking tape. So get some masking tape here, just general masking tape. Um, and what, what you need to do is you need to masking tape the top bit where the tiles are and the bottom bit where the, the bath is. And you need to create a little gap where you're going to put the silicone. And you don't want it to be too big. You want the, you don't want to use that much silicone. You just need it to fill in that little corner gap all the way along to stop water getting through underneath that tile. So to save time, I've done the top edge here. I'm going to get this this masking tape, and I'm now putting it down as if it was on top of the bath. And I'm I'm probably leaving about two millimeters on the bath edge before it hits the corner. Nearly there, just all the way along. So I put that in there I'm going to lift this up to show you. So you can see there's two pieces of, of uh, masking tape with a gap all the way down in the corner. Right. right there. So I've left, sorry, wrong way around. I've left myself a gap now and that's where the silicone's going to go in there first, right? So what you need to do is once you've done that and that's all the way around your bath and make sure all the edges are tidy because it, it, it's almost like you're leaving that area exposed for the silicone. Once that's done, this is the bit that people forget. What you need to do is fill up your bath, fill your bath with water. And what that does, it sinks the bath down to the lowest it possibly can be. Because if you don't and you seal everything with, with no water in it, then once you step, fill it with water and then you get in it, the weight of that bath, is going to drop slightly, which means it potentially could uh, could crack the silicone. So you want the bath in the lowest position possible to help, you know, so that when you, you sealed it all, and then when you take the water out, it might rise up a little bit, which is good, but you don't want it dropping down any further. So fill your bath with water, but make sure you don't get any water in the corners. You want to try and keep this area as dry as possible. The next piece of kit you need is a skeleton gun. You use these to fit these tubes in. Now this is the silicone we're using, um, 7855 down corning. Um, Steph said, this is the plumber, this is the best one. It's not really expensive, but she says you don't get any um, mildew or, or goes moldy. Um, it's really easy to work with. So 785 um, Dow Corning, not sponsored by them, but apparently, and it does work actually, to be fair, our bathrooms looks looks brilliant. We've been using this for about two, three years. I haven't had to change it. So how do, how do you fit, fit these? So these tubes, you'll see them in the DIY store. They come with this neck. This has already been used, but what you do, this is normally sealed off. You would use your, your Stanley knife and you would cut off the, you would cut off the top edge. You've got to leave some thread because you've got to be able to put 
that back on there. So once you've exposed it, opened it up, you can screw that back on. And then there's this edge here. I want to open that up a little bit. It's a bit like a, a piping bag. You know, if you, if you leave it at the end, it's really small. But the further down the edge, the, the uh, piping bag, the old hole gets bigger. The old the hole gets bigger. So I'm actually going to cut that off a little bit more because I want it just a tad bigger. OK, so I've made that hole just a little bit bigger. Then what you need to do is you need to put it inside here. So press the button at the back. That releases this. Push this through here and squeeze. And you can see the disc and it goes inside. It's going inside. And as it goes inside, and I squeeze it, it pushes. It pushes the silicone out the end. If I want it to stop, I press the button at the back and it releases the pressure going through. Make sure you've got lots of kitchen roll handy. So I'm going to put some kitchen roll on the side here. And that means I can, I can wipe up any mess. Because it's been used before, there might be some residue in there. So I'm just going to get rid of that now. There. And actually, I'm going to make that hole just a little bit bigger. So it's like we've got our piping bag ready of silicone. So this is all set and ready to go. And I press the button at the bottom to stop it keep pumping through. Now this is the next tip. tip. You, what you need, you need washing up liquid. So get yourself a little bowl and it's just got water in it. And then you need a little bit of washing up liquid. Not too much, just a, enough to make the, uh, the water in there. Just a little bit, a bit soapy. I'm going to add a little bit more. And this stops the silicone sticking to your finger. So I can feel that on my finger. It's just a little bit soapy. You don't want too much because you don't want the colour of the, the washing up liquid to colour your, um, your silicone. So now what we do, make sure I've got plenty of tissue to hand, which is what I'm going to need to dry my fingers, clearing all the mess out of the way. So, right, we can see this now. So what you do is you start, you start there, you start there and I'm going to squeeze and the idea is as you squeeze it like a piping bag you want just a continuous flow along. So I'm going to squeeze it out and I've got this continuous flow coming, coming out. If there's a gap anywhere you can go back to it, it doesn't matter. All right so I'm going to because there's a bit of a gap there, I'm going to continue a little head and then I'm going to come back to it. Okay, press the button at the back to stop the flow coming through and then I can just wipe that and put that down. So what I've done, I've got, we've got a, a bead of silicone along there and now I want to smooth it down as much as possible. And this is what you have to do. So you have to make sure you can't just touch the silicone because if you touch it with a dry finger, It'll just drag the silicone. What we want to do is we want to just smooth the silicone along the top, but without dragging it. So I'm going to wet my finger in the soapy wet my finger in the soapy water, shake any excess off, and then just run along down the edge. And can you see how it's it's flattening out a little bit? And I've and I've got a bit of silicone on my finger, so I don't want to go back in again with the with my finger all messy. If I do, it'll cause more drag. So I, I wipe it all off. Make sure it's off, put my finger back in the soapy water and then it means I can go over it again. And then, and what's brilliant about that is I can go back a few times. And so it's, as I'm doing the bath and I'm going round corners and stuff like that, I obviously have to stop, change direction. And it's quite um, pliable, if that's a word. I can use it, I can, I can manipulate it quite a lot. I can get quite hard with it. I can, I can push in, but ideally, because I haven't used that much silicone, I've just gone gently. I'm just filling up, filling up the gap. So I've covered that space that we created between the two pieces of masking tape and it's looking pretty good. But the problem you can see is it's not equal. You know, there's bits there. You can see in the middle, it's a bit fatter. 
than it is anywhere else. And this is where the joy of the masking tape really comes into its own. Because, because we've created that channel, that will give us a straight line. So this is the fun stuff. So if you get the edge of your masking tape and you pull away, but you pull away from the edge. So if this is the, the tile edge, we're going to pull it upwards, diagonally upwards. So this is the fun stuff. So I'm pulling it upwards and you can see, you can see that it's creating a straight line. All right. And the trick with this as well is if you have like somewhere you can just drop this, just drop it out of the way because it'll be covered in, in, in silicone. So don't even bother, don't screw it up, just, just drop it somewhere out of the way onto a piece of paper or something like that. Now I'm doing the bath edge, the bottom edge. So again, I'm going to be pulling this towards you because I want this away from the edge. I don't want to mess up what I've just created. Again, what you say, just, just drop it. Now, it looks good, but the problem is where the masking tape was, it's created like a little lip. It's, it's created a little ledge, so it's not totally smooth, so muck would get into that. So what you need to do then is go back over it with your wet finger, make sure it's wet, make sure it's got that soapy solution on, and just gently give it a run over with your wet soapy finger. So as I go over it, my wet soapy finger. I'm going to dry, get any residue off there, get any 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 more silicone on my finger, go back into the soapy water in there, run my finger along and there. We've managed to create a perfectly smooth um, sealed edge all the way around the bath. And like I say, you can keep touching it. You know, I think the idea is you don't want to do it too much. You don't. You know, and, and also one thing to remember is don't do all your all your bath and go away and have a cup of tea and then go, oh, I'll go and peel off the silica and um, the masking tape. Because if you do that and it sets as you peel off the masking tape, it's just going to jaggedy all the edges and all that. So you need to make sure that you pull off the masking tape while everything is still wet and while it hasn't set. Then step away from your bath leave the water in there leave it in there for a couple of hours you know and then by the end of the night ideally if you can do it and then get a shower the next day or use the bathroom the next day that'd be even better once it's all totally set and cured then you can pull your plug out let the water drain away and this will be totally secure and done and won't cause you any problems it's quite an easy one to do. It takes, it's a bit nerve wracking to start with because it feels like there's so much to it. But I hope with the use of the masking tape, the use of the washing up liquid and knowing, you know, how to use the, the silicone gum, I can show you how easy it is. And you can save yourself 60, 70 quid by not having to pay someone like myself or a plumber to come out just to reseal your bath. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions for me, contact me at uh, thetvcarpenter.com. Go on my website there, link into all my social social media and my um, podcast. And don't forget the DIY Doers um, Facebook group where we can help you. Hope this was helpful. Thank for, thanks for listening to me, Wayne Perry, the TV Carpenter. <laughs>